My name is Michael Richards. I'm the Executive Director and Chief Heraldic Artist of SumArms.com and uh, today I'm just going to give you a little insight as to how we do the uh, certificates here. Uh, so this is an assumption certificate where someone has assumed their arms. In this case it's Daniel McCollins. And we're going to go ahead and uh, you know sign it, wax seal it, get it all proofed up here. So uh, I'll just show you kind of what, what we do, how we do it. So obviously you have to sign it at some point so we sign it and I should have had this set up a little bit neater all right so signing is pretty straightforward then we are going to get ready to wax seal it so um, we've got the wax heating um, and what we need at this point in fact, I think I'm just going to move this out of the way it's just going to be easier, a little, little, little bit more to work on here. So, um, got some uh, got some lines here we're going to scribe out, and uh, just take that through there, take that through there. And uh, what we do, these are uh, I'm cutting these in space for the ribbons, um, and the ribbons are these right here. So this is the, the ribbon, it's a jacquard ribbon. Um, just, it's just, jacquard is just a, a particular way they do um, the embroidery. I think it's called embroidery. I'm not a sewing person. My mom would probably kill me. So all we do then is uh, I, I make them uh, long enough to go through both. And yeah, these are titanium snips and they're a little overkill for this particular operation, but uh, they do do a great job. I actually got them just for uh, general purpose use. They work so good here, my scissors just kept getting dull, but these just do not get dull. So because these are made out of polyester, you know, we kind of light off the ends a little, just because there's a, can't really see it too well probably, but there's a, some loose stuff that could uh, fly out and hang around and be nasty. So, there we go, we got that done. So what we're gonna do now is then thread it in through the document. And as long as we don't damage anything going through, there we go. Now I kinda know where to put these after this, doing this for five or six years here. So, uh, Got the, got the distance down. So here we go. Once we got them through, the next step is going to be to fold them under, right, so that they have something to adhere to. Put these away. Um, and now, as we get into the wax, we'll talk a little bit about wax. There's, um, there's this, um, and this is horribly painful to use. Um, this is, sometimes it has a wick in it, sometimes it doesn't and it sits there and it drips and it gets one drop and then two drops and then three drops and what happens is, is half the mold gets cold before the other half gets warm. Um, obviously we can use a sort of a truly traditional um, overheater with a, a pouring cup like you might see in Game of Thrones or something um, but this is the 20th century and as much as I love the uh, medieval period uh, there's, there's some things that have come along that are a little better um, and I've tried a bunch of them. I've tried to do as authentic and as original as possible, but there's just some things that just are, are really tedious. So let's get the seals. So these are the seals. Um, they're just, um, and, and I make these two uh, based on a coat of arms. Um, I, I don't manufacture these, but I, I give you the, the files and I know who the people are to send these to. So this one's for Assume Arms. It's blue. Um, this primary color of Assume Arms. This is my personal seal. And that's for uh, that's for this side. So Michael Richards and then the Sumo Arms. So what we're going to do is the, these things right here. These are my trays that are going to catch the wax in. Right. So wax is going to get in here and uh, it keep it from like flowing out, so that it makes a nice round seal. All these are. I'm sure you've seen these before, right? So when you burn these, once they're all burned down, you end up with this nice little thing like this, right? So uh, that's all those are. And uh, they've just been trimmed down and cut out because what I, how I have them set up is like this. So that they sit inside and then all we do is place it on, uh, 
pour the wax in, and then seal it. So here's where you're going to lose a little bit of the magic, because uh, we don't have, uh, I have found that this is the absolute best way. These are wax sticks, um, and they go in these glue guns, and they work fantastic. And like I said, I would love to be a little more traditional, uh, but I've actually yet to find a really good pouring and setup like you might see in Game of Thrones. I, I love the one he has in Game of Thrones. It's fantastic. Um, I forget which one it was, the older gentleman. Um, but uh, he had he had one that I just love to find. I've been searching all over for it. Um, anyway, so since I can't find it, and this is really quite easy. Um, so all we do is uh, just, these may not be quite heated up yet. I may have to pause this. And I think we'll just do that. We'll probably have to pause this video for a second. I gotta check it anyway. Oh, there we go. Um, so there's a little bit of wax, and this all I'm doing here though is just setting the end, the end down, not doing the actual pour yet. So that way we get it all centered the way I want it, and it's tacked in place. And we do, whoop, gotta be careful about that. And it probably also helped if I didn't get my damn oily hands all over it. All right, I think we'll try this one. We'll see what happens, you know. That's the worst that could happen, right? Wax could be too cold, we'll have to redo it. So, just get this set up. Yeah, see how we're looking here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good, it might be all right. So, what we'll do here is this. And as you can see, you see what the, uh, the little, little tin cup does now. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Uh, how it works. And it works really well. And then at this point, just fill it in. And the thing about wax is it's really hot and it stays molten and hot for a long time. Um, it's it's kind of tricky actually to get the right amount. What you know, if I push it too soon, it's gonna uh, it's gonna mush out, it's gonna come around the edges, and it's gonna be all liquid, and it's not gonna take the stamp very well. Um, so this is really a waiting game and a watching game. And it's really touchy. Uh, I don't, and there's actually a difference between the red wax and the blue wax. Uh, the red wax uh, is a, a little hotter or stays a little hotter. So the blue is a little quicker to be ready. So we're probably pretty close here. I don't know. Might be a little early. So we just go nice and gentle. Depress it. And you let, it, let, the, let the metal cool the wax pull it out. That's it. As you can see, it's that, that one's a pretty damn fine one if I do say so myself. Um, so now we're going to do the other one. And these then have to cool them and I'll pull them out of the, uh, the little mold thing here. So off we go to the red. See how this goes. Like I said, this wax is a little hotter. And they, you know, this is all different things you, you play with when you're, I mean, I've done this with a lot, a lot. I've tried a lot of waxes. I've tried a lot of different types of situations. And uh, this is just honestly, it's, it's the best thing I found. And it does the nicest job because at the end of the day, whether it looks cool, you know, that I'm pouring it from a dish uh, or I'm using this 20th century glue gun, um, the fact is, is the person who gets this wants the seal to be nice and even and pretty and uh, all that kind of stuff. So this is the most consistent way for me to get a great result. So that's what I've gone with. And like I said, I'm always on the hunt for the proper wax pouring dish and, and heating element. You know, like can like a little candle and a little pouring situation. But um, anyway, we'll see how this goes. This one's going to take just a little bit longer. So in the meantime, I can turn off the glue guns. Keep them on a, a power strip over there. So I think that's kind of it. Um, that one's not quite ready yet. The, the red one I always uh, have to test my patience with. So we'll see how it goes. This is still too early, but I'm going to compensate by not letting the weight sink it. And I'm just going to... Yeah, nice. And you, again, you let, the, you let the brass cool the wax underneath. Um, that, that's the secret. If, if you try to push it and then pull it off, it'll just stretch it out and get nasty. 
But yeah, these, these two turned out very good. So that's kind of it. Uh, I'll pop them out here in a minute and let you see that as well. But for now, that'll, that'll do.